Uh, we continue to uh, uh, look closely at the actions they take that are against the interests of the countries where they operate, and we will take con continue to take actions to hold them accountable. And in fact, we will have uh, further announcements to make uh, on holding Wagner accountable in the very near future. Yeah. Uh, Putin uh, revealed that Russian state has been funding Wagner. A, st a state of Russia has been engaging in a terrorism, um, sponsoring, I would say. Uh, does it change the calculus on your end to, to finally saying it out loud? To say Russia out loud. Is a, Russia is a terrorist. I, I, whatever you, want, you call Wagner Group, I think what's important are the steps that we take to hold them accountable. And the United States has taken another number of steps to hold Wagner accountable uh, in imposing sanctions, uh, in, in um, as I said, indicting the head of Wagner, uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Uh, and we will continue to take steps to hold them accountable. I don't think the label is, important, is, is as important as what we do. And uh, I would say stay tuned. In the very near future, you will see additional steps by the United States to hold them accountable for actions they've taken. Just, just, just a way of process. What else are we needing? What, what else do we need here? if Putin himself goes out and talks about how he sponsors the terrorism. Uh, again, as I said, I don't think the label is as important as the actions we take, and we have taken actions to hold Wagner accountable and will continue to do so. A follow-up after that, please. Um, thank you. you said very a couple of times that there'll be announcements in the very near future. What does that look like? Is that sanctions? Um, uh, I would just say stay tuned. They'll, they'll come uh, very soon. Is that something this week? Um, Yes, this week. I'll come to you next. Yeah, uh, over the weekend and also yesterday, your line was along with the White House uh, statement uh, was so, sort of like some, somewhere between like we are, have nothing to do with it and we're just uh, trying to observe what is going on. Uh, what next from the U.S. perspective? Uh, now that we know what we know since you know uh, yesterday's statements came, came out from both the Russian government and Wagner leadership. Um, well, I would, I would say two things in terms of what's next. One is that we will continue to take actions to hold Wagner accountable. I just spoke to those a minute ago, and, and you'll see something about that, as I said, in the very near future. But the other part of what's next will continue to be a continued U.S. support for Ukraine and continued U.S. support for the Ukrainian mil military's uh, um, uh, work to repel Russian troops, whether they be Ministry of Defense troops or whether they be Wagner forces uh, or whether they be whatever the next iteration, if any, uh, of Wagner forces look like, to repel those forces from Ukraine's borders. And just as you will see actions from us in the very near future to hold Wagner accountable, you will see continued actions from us in the very near future to continue suppl to supply the Ukrainian military with the equipment, the military equipment that it needs uh, to press their case on the battlefield. Is it time to not just continue, but double down your support for Ukraine by abandoning the narrative that we don't want to humiliate Putin, now that we know that he actually does respond to humiliation differently? I don't even know what that question means. I don't know how we would, I, I don't know how we would support Ukraine any more than, than, than we already have. Can I just ask you a question yeah. about these sanctions that you say are coming on Wagner? The for actions what? that are coming? Yeah, for what exactly? For um, withdrawing from Ukraine? Uh, I don't want to. For I don't, like marching um, uh, on Moscow? These are, to, uh, these, are, these are actions that we, we are taking against Wagner, not in relation to events that happened this weekend, but for their prior activities. And it, you'll see them. In, in Ukraine or no, elsewhere? No, Af in Africa. Uh, okay. Was that clear in the initial? Maybe I missed it. I'm not sure that was clear. I didn't. I didn't preview. Africa, I didn't. Like I did CAR, not. I did. Like I'm not going to say. I'm not. I don't want to get ahead of the announcement any further. But you'll see it, as I said, in the very near, okay. in the very near. But future. any sanctions that might be coming this week on Wagner have nothing to do with what happened over the weekend. Uh, the I, I would not want to get ahead of any other announcement or that we were considering years. taking. But the announcement I was specifically referring to relate to their actions in Africa. Can Thank I you. Based on that question, is there any reason that there would be a U.S. cost imposed on on Wagner for what did happen over the weekend? I mean, I, so I wouldn't want to. Again, I never want to preview a sanctions announcement before it happens, other than the one that's coming in the very near future, because it's it's a short enough time frame. Um, but the way that we will, the the most effective way the United States continues to hold Wagner accountable and to continues to hold Russian military forces accountable is to supply Ukrainians with the very equipment they need to repel Wagner forces and repel the Russian army from their borders, and we'll continue to do that.